to add a URL to Moodle, something that you do not want to upload to Moodle directly, such as a video because there are large files, or an e-reserve page because students then can independently check out items from the library, and the library can check if they have access to that file and what files are being used the most. If you want to add both of them, which I'm going to demonstrate how you can do that, um, what you have to do is turn editing on, then that will be on the top right corner or also on the settings panel, then add an activity or resource, scroll all the way down to where it says URL, click add URL, and here you have to do two things. One is give it a name, in this case is just a YouTube tutorial, you can add a description if you want to, but sometimes you can add a description to the title itself or a continuation of the title, this video, thanks, or more text here. And then all you have to really do is add the URL. Only the two in red are required, the name and the external URL. These are other options that you'll be good to look at. If I click the question mark if you're not sure what they do, or please send me an email, and then click Save or Return to Course. So that's all you have to do to add add a link to a URL, in this case a YouTube video. If we wanted to add another URL for e-reserves, click URL again, add a resource, URL, go to the e-reserve page, that's the one students would need to access to obtain access to the readings, and it helps the library to, to just be able to know what students are doing with some resources. Sometimes they got to cancel subscriptions, etc. So all you really need to do, if you want it to show on the front page, you can, of the, of the Moodle side, you can click display description on course page. The other options, again, are, it's good to read through them and click the question mark if you're not sure what they do. Save and display. And that's what you would see. Now on the front page of the course, I use the breadcrumbs to get back to it. You have both of the links I added. If I click the first one, it takes me to e-reserve. If I click the, the, sorry, if I click now the first one, it'll take me to the YouTube video. I hope that was helpful. Uh, if you have any questions, however, let me know. That's not the only way you can add URLs. It's the URL I added inside of a label. So labels are another way to do it, but uh, the easiest way is to add an activity or resource and add a URL. Thanks.